Hello and welcome my friends and Forex fans, it's Rob here from Explominate here with Old Worlds and its Steam release. I'm extraordinarily excited to be playing this because we also have access to the expansion that has come out alongside it. And if you buy it within the first two weeks, you'll get it for free, which is pretty cool. And with it comes a brand new nation, Hati. So, very cool. I didn't know that this was coming, and it's basically it's the Hittites, right? Um, if you're not familiar with like, the classical era of the nations, the Hittites, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I think that's a placeholder arrow that looks kind of wonky, but yeah, anyways, so we can now play as Hatsi or the Hittites, and you're going to get a chance to see what they're like today. So all their cities start with, or sorry, they gain plus two civics per turn. They can remove vegetation, ignore hill movement costs. They get starting texts of iron working, husbandry, and administration. They get some shrines like related to their historical religions. And they get the unique units of the heavy chariot and the three-man chariot. The heavy chariot gets a six attack start with 20 HP, which is pretty great. And then the three-man chariot gets an eight attack with a 20 HP. So yeah, really exciting stuff. I'm really excited to be playing this. We're gonna go ahead and start this game and, and just uh, play as long as I see views doing well. <laughs> so I, I don't want to play too much. You know, I, I don't I don't want to play too much longer than there is excitement for. So, but I do want to play. So I want to show you what this is all about. And we're gonna do some cool things. We're gonna turn off random families because I want to see what their families are like. I think that'll be it. Yeah, you can do a lot of cool stuff like no starting text, no force march, no fog of war, all these really cool things that you know are are definitely a way to customize a game to your liking. So there's let's make sure we've got the map. Let's see, random map, there you go. We're gonna do random advanced setup. We've got the randomized families turned off, which I normally like to turn on because it's just creates a little bit of coolness, but I've never actually played as the Hittite, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and leave the randomized families off for this game. So let's go, let's play, let's play. You guys can hear it, the music is amazing in this game, just fantastic, the whole, the whole game, if you guys haven't already seen it, I've played it a few times, I have not played it since it's, it's epic release, which is insane. So there's gonna be, a, like I think I've played it a little bit, but it's been a long time, so we're gonna see a lot of really cool things. All right, yeah, you are Hatusuli, warrior king of the Hittites, first called Lavernas. You have earned your throne name of Hatusuli through fighting to unite the heartlands. Although the people now stand behind you, there is still the threat of intrigue. Your family will need to be brought in line if Hittite is to become a grand nation to surpass the kingdom of your forefather, forefathers. The existing civilizations of the old world do not yet know the strength and virtue of Hittite, but you will, they will soon learn. Select your settler and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we already know how that goes, yo. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and settle right here. This is actually a good spot. And let's see what we've got. We've got the Kusavan Riders. So they gain some training rates and their cities are always connected. Then we have the Nenesan who are going to get growth. They have a rural specialist production time reduction and they also gain culture, which is great. So per year, uh, per, year per crop resource. Yeah, we've got a couple crop resources, which is good. So, we also have the Zulup, Zulupwan patrons, and they're going to get getting civics and culture. And then we have also the Hatusan traders. I'm going to go ahead and start with these guys just because I really like my first city to be pretty like pretty well developed. So, a new court minister, Uriah Tisip, has. Join the court. His aptitude and manners of state will keep Hati moving forward. All right. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't. No. No, we're not going to do a tutorial. No. To turn the tutorial, tutorial off. All right. Let's go to the options and turn that tutorial off. Disable tutorial. Oh, there we go. All right. So we'll come back up here. So we've got stone cutting, trapping and divination so let's see stone cutting is going to be important because we're going to need stone looks like there's also some stone around here and around here so we're going to go ahead and do that very good all right so we've got yep we have taken the throne we have founded hatusa we've discovered administration husbandry and ironworking and we have a new courtier all right so let's see what else we've got here 
choose governor for Hatusa. Oh, we can already do it. It's because we we got administration. That's right. So let's see what we can do to add. We've got 3.6 civics. We're going to lose gold for money. This one's going to gain money per turn. Then if we put the king in there, that's going to give us a bunch of good stuff. But this is pretty good for... Actually, you know we're going to put king... Why not? He's not going to go anywhere else. Let's let him govern that city while he rules our country. Our fledgling country. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take settler. It's already there. And I'll add a worker, too, in order to get our area developed quicker. And, or more quickly, I guess I should say. I'll come down here and take the city site and defend it. And we'll also promote it. So let's go ahead and look to see. Maybe strike for the added uh, strength bonus. So, take that. You. I don't think... Why can't you build any of these? We're going to build the mine. But why can't you build it? Oh, we need more train. Okay, we need more orders. Gotcha. Don't have enough orders. Alright. Don't need to worry about the governor tutorial. I already... What? I already turned this stuff off. Oh, well, maybe it has to be... Yeah, it has to be dismissed first. All right. Very good. I think I'm going to turn those sound effects down. Hold on a second, too. We'll go ahead and... Uh, turn the effects volume down just a little bit. There we go. Hopefully it's not drowning you out at this point. All right. Next unit. We're going to come over here, and we're going to take this. We'll fortify there. That's a good spot. Look at all those urban tiles. All right, and you will come over here with you. No, let's go. Let's go north. We already got gold, so that's a good start. And the Leventine Sea. All right. All right. Go ahead and take the mine here, and we'll end the turn. We'll zoom out a little bit. We're a little zoomed in. A little too zoomed in for my liking. All right. Let's come around over here. Nope, nothing over there. Oh, great. So our queen is a most bitter person. So she does not like romantic people, but she likes bitter people. A marriage proposal has arrived from the San Juan family for your daughter, Hata, Hasta Yares. Hasta Yares, the builder. All right, so let's look. We've got uh, somebody who's good with charisma and not so great with discipline, or somebody who's good with both. Huh. I'm going to take the Oligarch, Uri Teshub. How about it? Alright, so the landscape of Bal Kornin stands quietly rugged as you approach. The ice and rock of the towering peaks create a pattern of sublime splendor. However, this trip is not to, to view the beauty of the lands. Your generals have asked for guidance on how to best adapt your forces to fight better in mountainous terrain. Traveling across the scree littered slopes below the peak, you find yourself reimagining the use of such a landscape in battle. There's always a path, becomes Pathfinder. The mountains are full of life, becomes Herbalist. Or I feel at home on the peaks, becomes Highlander. Hmm. As Governor Camps and Nets are given 100% output. He's a governor right now, so that's probably going to be the only thing that really works to my advantage right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Do I? Oh, there's no net. There's no nets area. That's all right. Oh, we've already met Persia. Hello. We will humbly approach you. So we don't go to war super early. All right. One thing I've noticed is that the uh, performance is extraordinarily improved. Like right now, I'm sitting at about 120 frames per second, which is about 40 frames per second better than what it was before. So, definitely good job on that there, Mohawk. Emphasizing the importance of strength. Strengthening Hati, the Zawapwans have proposed a marriage with your son, Pimpira the Younger. Alright, so we can take somebody who's very, very smart. She's very smart. Or one that's chariz charismatic and courageous. So what do I need? I mean, I could always use more. That's a lot of wisdom, too. As governor, plus 42%. As leader, plus 8. As consorts. 
Yeah, that's actually really good. So we're gonna go ahead and make her the scholar, or take the scholar. Time passes quickly, Prince Mersley is growing up fast and eager to learn. How would you like to educate him? We're gonna go ahead and give him tactics because we're gonna need some, some training rate for sure. All right, we'll come down here. Now that we've got that, we'll see about moving into another spot. Hopefully we can find a spot soon. We'll take that. Our expedition approaches an ancient monument. The structure appears to be a tomb of a great leader. An inscription reads, Passerby, whoever you may be, I was once king of kings. Grudge me not. Therefore, this piece of earth that covers my body. Leave the tomb undisturbed. That's the way to do it. Alright, we're going to go ahead and end here. Alright. We've given birth to the do Oh, that's sweet. For a long time, the Zalapuan family has expected to marry one of their scions to Larvin Ursh the Younger, but more recently, a rich merchant has offered an incentive to marry one of their children instead. Hmm. Let's do... I thought that's what we... Yeah, let's... Maybe that's what we do. We'll go with this one. So the Zalap one opinion is increased. Looks like nothing else. Yeah, it looks like they this would have been the option if I wanted to marry him off to the marry marry him off to the uh rich merchant, but we'll go with Caduceus the Younger. You have noticed that for better or worse, Prince Mersley is showing signs of taking after his mother, Hastajaris the builder. How this influence will take shape is yet to be seen. My daughter. She's very pretty. Alright, requires Hasajaras is wanton. Few pleasures thrill the body quite so much. Hey. Debauched. As governor plus two. That's not good. As leader plus one. So thankfully that's not gonna be an issue. It's smack dab in the city, in the center here. Alright, so we will have to consider what we do here. All right, so plus two growth per year with rural specialist rural specialist production time reduced, and plus two grow or uh, sorry culture you can buy tiles as well. I like that actually. So why won't this be connected? These two will. All the three other ones will actually. Oh no. Wait, this one will not be connected. This one should not be connected. Nope, they're always mounted and always connected. There we go. And this will not be connected. Okay. Weird that it doesn't show up when you when I first did that. Alright, so we could do the training rate. I think I want training rate right now, actually. We want to start getting some units going for sure. So let's go ahead and let the training rate do that thing. That thing, that thing it does. Right, the vandals have been con contacted. A strange woman from an unknown tribe shuffles into your court, looking everywhere but at you. She suggests that unless you're able to demonstrate your munificence, 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 yeah, the vandals will take everything from you. Wow, munificence. I don't. I imagine that's like some sort of magnificence. I don't know. I've never seen that word before, but I like it. Fine, take this and go. Yeah, I'm not ready yet. As much as I don't want to kowtow to barbarians we're gonna have to for now so let's harvest some goats for food there's another city site that's where we want to be for sure so we're gonna go ahead and set these guys to go there next turn that's what we're gonna do we're gonna wait come down here and take that take that gold all right heavy chariots requires developing culture requires strong herds but we've got that, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and start. Hmm. Why are we plus eight? Because we're not connected. All right. Let's do a worker and try to get connected as soon as we can get some roads. And we'll keep exploring. 
I want to actually force to get them there before the persons get there. Alright. Inspired by nature. There are, so it's just, Prince Mercilly has been sneaking off into the wild after each class day, class each day, growing even more inspired by nature. There are many other mysteries to see in the world. No longer a tactic student. Be cunning as a serpent. Becomes deal maker. Unlocks caravan as leader plus 20 foreign or tribal leader opinions. He will be my leader eventually. Delver. Mines and quarries, 20% output. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Delver. How a positive The orator has become... His come before you as representative of the Zalpum family, asking that you enact exploration or kill five military units. Full of charm and wit, the young man makes a compelling case. So we can enact exploration. Or agree to kill five military units. We're going to be able to do exploration much sooner, so let's do that. I need to develop an army, and I need to develop it soon. All right, let's do... Yeah, I think spoked wheel is the best bet. All right, what do we have here? Let's go ahead and get some quarry going. Plus 12. That's fantastic. All right, we'll set you up here. Fortify. Very good. And we'll continue to explore over here. The emissary of the Thresh Thrashians has arrived with a gift of wood in the hopes of establishing peaceful relations, of, relations with us. Tremendous. Let's take it. Cut them down. Oh, man. One of these days, I'm going to play as a ruthless nation and just cut everybody down. I think that's still too loud. You know, let me try something. Sorry. I don't want to blast you guys out here. All right, so excellent student. Comes to your attention that Mercilly has excelled in his tactics training, winning numerous combinations for officers. He's clearly taken to his studies. It is time he chose a vacation. A vocation. Let's see what we got. So he gains commander, can serve as general or ambassador, as general, 20% attack and defense strength, as general, plus 50% flanking. Nice. As leader, plus 10 XP per year for idle units. I really like that. So we're going to go ahead and take that because that'll be something. He's going to be our leader eventually. Harvest some camels. Harvest some goats. I think that's going to be too far, but we're going to try to harvest those foxes too. All right, let's come over here. Can we get through in here? I don't know. Probably going to get stuck somewhere. Nope, maybe not. All right. We didn't get stuck. All right, so my daughter have given and her husband have given birth. Uh, not today. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be carnal. We could harvest the fur and we can cut the trees. Very good. All right, and we'll continue over here. Anything we can harvest? some ore. We'll harvest ore. And keep coming this way. Nope, nothing over there. Oh, wait. Yes, I totally somehow missed the goats. And the other goats. Is that other goats? I'm an idiot. Seriously, show them our goodwill of the gift. I think we're going to do that. We're going to start things off right with the Egyptians because normally they're extraordinarily aggressive. Alright, so you're just killing it. That's awesome. Structures are okay, we must switch motor some of them, yes. So leave will become tough, heckler, or swift. Tough as leader, all units all units gain plus five percent of damage. As leader plus ten percent for oh wow. Or swift as leader all units gain a fatigue limit. Or we can gain a court soldier. And a court soldier. I forgot what they do. So we're going to... Oh, for some reason it's not letting me do it. 
I'm trying to see what a core soldier does. Okay, well... I didn't mean actually... Okay, come over here. Alright, we're going to... I don't, I don't know how I come back to that screen. For some reason, it's not clear that it's where it is. Okay, let's go to the Oracle. Because we're going to want to... Get some victory points going here. Alright, we've met the Carthaginians. Over here. Thracians. Thracians. I don't know how you pronounce that. I don't know if it's a hard A or a soft A. As our units approach the Babylonian border, pay a tribute. Oh man, look at you. I'm going to refuse. You don't get to tell me I have to pay tribute. Although you have a chariot. <laughs> oh man, maybe that was a bad idea. Trees production. Alright, so you... We're going to go ahead and throw a miner there because we're going to need some more. Actually, maybe not. Let's go ahead and drop festival so we can try to avoid. I think that's going to be three years. Yeah, we'll, we'll avoid the discontent level going up undefeated there we go all right so we're gonna go ahead and let them become one of those he becomes tough so all units plus five percent strength if damaged when he's leader which he will be leader one day all right so we can build a farm here for some food we need that actually i didn't realize we were negative in food i wasn't paying attention all right, and then we'll come over here. Actually, let's see what we've got. We're gonna let's build some more food, more farms. Awesome. All right. Reese, man, we're just meeting everybody. All right, avoid them as we have enemies enough. Yep, let's do that. All right, so we are now leveling up discipline for some more money. Courage for some more training rates or wisdom for more. Yeah, we'll do that. We could use a quicker. Look at that. 10 years for the spoked wheel. Take it forever. Alright, let's come down here and see what this is. Explorers uncover numerous shafts in the desert hillside. Their entrance, entrance is covered by past landslides. Emeralds litter the dark passages, suggesting that the site once was a thriving mine. Yeah, we should reopen the mines. Although this is way too far for me. I won't be able to take it. Alright. Let's drop a festival here too. Kind of keep that discontent at bay. And... Stonecutter or Miner. Looks like I gain training rate from that. So let's do that for now. The Great Bitter Lake. Alright, wow, they just keep giving birth to kids. Wow. Rejoice, your effort, Prince Mercilee, has become an adult in the eyes of the Hittite law. Alright, we're going to go ahead and conduct a traditional Hittite ceremony. Commission new regalia. So, plus two legitimacy, commission my new guy. Oh. Declare a national holiday. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the traditional Hittite ceremony. Has returned from his tactic studies, but he would like to retain a tutor for additional training? Absolutely. Yeah, let's do that. Our laborers' attempts to reopen the collapsed emerald mines have failed. Hillside supports crumbled, burying many. No, oh, that sucks. Yikes. That's plus 60 discontent that just completely negated my desire to stave off that level ouch <clears throat> looks like we're quite behind here in victory points wow where, how do you what lord how do you guys have all these units already ancient carvings have been discovered in ruin 
near Lake Van. After a careful study, the, the learned members of the Kurasan family claim that it is a work by their dis Okay, well then. Oh, wait. We change the succession and anger characters. Wait. Relaw seniority. That doesn't change anything, so. We're gonna go ahead and let this happen. Same person is going to inherit it, so. Alright, harvest camels and end the year. Oh, another another grandbaby. The royal family of Egypt visits the court during a feast. Princess Neferir, the younger of Ye Egypt, makes a shocking boast about how much better of a ruler. Oof. I mean, how old are you, Hopship Set? You're 47. So we gain. Ooh, this is like the long game here. <clears throat> Chips already hates us. So we're going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to play the long game here. Let's go ahead and let... Because I have a feeling that... Her opinion of us will increase over time. Whatever. Let's just do that. Most recent festival held in Hatusa. So I, I went ahead and said that... Hatshepsut was a better ruler... The most recent festival held in Hattusa was a tremendous success. Queen Gamera even put an appearance in a number of rising stars from among the Vandals attracted your attention. Given that you and the Vandals are on reasonably good terms, Queen Gambara has agreed to part with one of his own courier... Wait, Queen? Is... Messing with me. Her own courtiers, if you'd be willing to pay to relocate one of them. So, Bermuda the Vandal... Um, why can't I see what the other two are like? So, plus two wisdom, plus two discipline. But I don't know anything about her. Well, that's weird that I can't pull those up. Okay, whatever. I've never, I've, I very rarely find bugs in this game, but I just found one. Spelling stuff, that's, there's so much text. You're gonna run into something, like almost every game, but like, that was the first time I've ever had like a real bug. For a time, long time, the Kurasan family has expected to marry one of their sons to Prince Mersley, but more recently, the Vandals have offered to formalize our peaceful dealings, and one of their women can mar marry Mersley instead. Wow. I think, I'm sorry, this is not gonna, but yep, we're gonna piss off the Vandals, but. I don't want to piss off the, my families. That's even worse. It's a bad idea. All right. Let's come back over here and start to harvest more. So we can build up our cities here. And I, quite frankly, I need to start. Well, I need to settle. I can't do that until I've completed that farm, probably. And this one, too. Both in a year. That's good. All right. We can recover from this. It's not the best start. One of your scribes have returned from Gabe and Persia, excitedly talking about the practice of Judaism. She fills the court with the stories of God who gifts his followers of words written on stone and ancient kings hailing back past your own ancestors. Uh, I don't really know. Sorry. We will not be followers of Judaism today. Let's go ahead and get this one going too. And the granary can be built. But there's also a farm here. I really want to get some settlers going, so I'm building farms so we can pick up our food income. God, they really have an insane amount of units. Good lord. Right. Part 
Carthage is now at peace with Greece. That's cool. Oh, wow. An odd thing happened at the conclusion of the festival in the city of Azatawaya. Your people and those who attended from neighboring lands did not want the good times to end, and for the, more than a week after you formally brought the citywide celebration to a close, street vendors remained, and the entire city continued to maintain a festive atmosphere. During that time, you had the opportunity to wander the streets, disguised, of course, so as not to draw undue attention, and you got the opportunity to meet many of your people in person and see what foreigners truly thought about your fair city. The people of the Vandals impressed you, particularly Geimer the Vandal a skilled mercenary, and Gento the Vandal, a merchant of some renown. After speaking with Queen Gambera about the matter, you have convinced her to agree to allow one of them to enter your service, if you are willing to compensate for their loss. Huh. I could acquire a sp spices as a luxury, or I can take Gato the Vandal, or Geimer the Vandal, which are both actually the exact same strengths. Which is kind of funny. One's a tactician. Oh, they're both tacticians. Literally nothing's different except he's got charisma. And some more courage. Actually, we're going to take Gento. Alright. We'll have to come back over this way. Good lord, guys. We're going to have to pick up our army building speed here. Alright, so instead of that, let's go ahead and build a warrior. What we need is something better than that. But let's actually, we'll do a farmer for now. Only for the next go around. And then we'll start working on getting some armies together so we can start at least taking out some of these barbarians and stuff. Seeking to improve relations, the of the Queen of Carthage arrives to address the court. During introductions, she insists that members of your court kneel to kiss her feet, as is customary in Carthage. No. No, I am not okay with that. A procession of ambassadors and soldiers from Babylonia Enters the capital. Their leader, a bearded, bejeweled diplomat, addresses the court. Nebuchadnezzar has so far shown patience with your insolence, but now you will be paid the tribute owed to your nations. Oh, Lord. I'll pay in gold. Just to avoid the fight. For now. So I have a feeling I'm going to start fighting in Babylonia. Or somebody. Lord, everybody's always angry at me. Right, we'll come down here. Now we will start working on, well, shoot. Can I alt buy it? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that because I need another city for sure. Especially since other people probably have way more than I do at this point. Right, let's go ahead and look to see that. Greece has four cities. Carthage has four. Babylonia has three. They have three. We only have two, so we definitely need to make sure that happens. Alright, let's come over here and see what's going on over here. Alright, we'll take some game. Also, come over here and harvest some gold. Ooh, we got salt too. Let's take some salt. Very good. Let's build a granary because I think it'd be good to get the growth going. And we'll have to start really focusing on an army. So it looks like our inputs are pretty good right now. We're always going to need more stone, so that's probably good. And we also need more iron as well. So let's go ahead and start with stone. Take the quarry for plus 12 stone. That's great. Meanwhile, you come over here and harvest them camels. Alright. Somewhere I can go? Nope, there's definitely not somewhere I can go. I, I kid. I joke. Alright. 
parents, my son, and wow, seriously, I've got grandchildren all over the place. The delegation for Greece is set to settle a dispute. dispute. Okay. I know how this goes. So it's either Greece or Hatshepsut. Yeah, let's do this. I would rather have friends than neutral parties. And I think we, yeah, we've definitely made ships that like us enough. Oligarch Hantali of Azatawataya. Yeah, okay. Approaches your with a proposition. Arapsepsky is a talented merchant, but also a, a bit of a miscreant who has run up a considerable debt. So we can pay him off. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll pay it off. A new court merchant, Harapsetsky. Harapsetsky. Harapseki. There we go. Harapseki has joined the court. Her keen attention to economic affairs will help Hati prosper. Alright. We'll come down here and start exploring down this way. We'll come back up here with this one. And now, well, quite frankly, we need to do something about the fact that we have very little in the way of research going. But nothing we do is going to help with that right now. So, from Rural Specialist, plus one. Oh, no. We'll gain that. So, let's do that. All right, one more turn, and then we'll go ahead and... Call it an episode. Always haven't been a bit sickly. Queen Consort Hastia has now been... Oh no, she's... My wife's severely ill. No bueno. Alright. I'm not here. Let's see what's here. Hidden jewels. Our explorers discover a cache of jewels hidden deep within the abandoned ruins. Keep the jewels. Uh, the treasury would be grateful if we found more jewels. Yes. Yes, we would. Yes, it would. Take some goats. And we'll also take some incense. Thank you. Oh no, we're at the very bottom now. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this game. Forgot how aggressive you need to be. Alright, so we've built the Oracle, which is going to give us two victory points, which is good. We'll have to probably do labor force, although Slinger is really important too. Let's do that first. Alright, I could use more iron, so we'll go ahead and do that more iron. And you can go over here. Actually, let's go with the, the farm here. And both the oh, we need something. Oh yeah, we definitely need some lumber mills, but we don't have the technology yet. So we'll go ahead and build this first, and then we'll try to get the granary. But I want to get maybe an idea of where we are with the lumber. Harvest incense. Let's come down this way too. Can we go through to here? Nope. Okay, building trust. Messenger arrives from Egypt. Your actions have taught us to trust your good intentions. Let us build our trust further. We should agree to mutual peace. We agree to sign the proposed treaty. Absolutely. Oh, man. I really don't like this. They're exploiting me. As the laws of the court are re to the people, the courts themselves are engaged in celebration and merriment. One of the court scholars rises to give a speech. A civilization is not a static being, but a dynamic entity built on the decisions of the people within. The laws of Hati have... Taking their first shape, painting a picture of the future. Praise to King Hatusuli. Hatusuli. Okay, so we need to do an ambition. Control six farms. We can do that. Let's get rid of all these. I'm bad at doing that. All right, last turn before we head on to the next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If not, tell me why not. Yeah.
<laughs> I need to know. I guess if you didn't enjoy it, you probably aren't still here. Oh no. You might die. A merchant recently returned from Carthage describes the unusual practices of the people of Arifereum. Following the teachings of the prophet Zoaster, they are. Okay, so we're not going to do Zoastrianism. We want to do our own, okay? Here we go. Next unit. Let's see if we can come down here. Can we? Can we come down here? Not really. Nope. And now we are going to come over here. Get the heck out of Dodge. There we go. All right, it's time to build some warriors. Time to start building a, a little army here. All right, that was the last turn. So, hey, like I said, let me know what you think. You know, if this is something you want to keep watching. Looks like we're both going to die at the same time. A single traveler arrives from the Egyptian city of Shadet. He calls himself an apostle, a messenger of Christianity. God, you know, I wanted to say screw it, but at the same time, we have to probably take a religion at some point. It looks like we're not going to be able to found one. So... Christianity it is. Alright, what are we going to do here? We already did the writers. Traders would be good. Can add multiple roads per year. Negative 10 upgrade years for Hamlet improvements. And plus 20 year per year for, for bullion resource. Let's go ahead and do that. A new court merchant has appeared, which is good for me. We'll take this sorghum here. Actually, we'll heal. Looks like we need to. Come over here. See what's going on. All right. Start. Oh, actually, no. We'll start a worker here. And then maybe later on a caravan. But yeah, like I said, let me know what you think. And let me know what you think of the new nation here. The Hittites. Pretty cool stuff, right? We are actually doing pretty well now. Not like super well, but we're at least catching up. And let's see if anybody's got... Oh, they, some people have developing cities. I really should be developing. Actually. Close to it. Not nearly close enough, though. So I should probably do something about that. But we'll do that after we're finished with our warrior and after we come back. Let me know what you think. Let's choose a chancellor before we go. Three, yeah, four, and 18. Princess consort. We got growth per city plus, two. ooh, that's actually really good too. Let's do that. Boom. I'm really going now. Thanks for watching. This is Rob from Explominates. Until next time, keep exploring.